The Volat V2 is a new Belarusian armored personnel carrier. Volat is translated from Belarusian language as giant. The V2 denotes variant 2. The previous Volat V1 was a mine protected vehicle with 4x4 configuration that was first publicly revealed in 2016. The Volat V2 is a product of Minsk Wheel Tractor Plant, MZKT. Its industrial designation is MZKT 690003. For decades this company specializes in production of heavy trucks, prime movers and special wheel chassis. The Volat V2 is the second attempt of the MZKT to create an indigenous armored vehicle. It was developed as a private venture and is aimed at the Belarusian military as well as possible export customers. The Volat V2 was first publicly revealed in 2021. For decades the Belarusian military operated Soviet BTR series wheeled armored personnel carriers with 8x8 configuration including the BTR-60, BTR-70, and BTR-80. However these vehicles had a number of design flaws due to their rear-mounted engines. The Soviets made priority to amphibious capabilities, but this resulted in cramped crew compartment and awkward entry and exit for the dismounts. The Volat V2 is a clean sheet design. It follows the lines of modern Western armored personnel carriers. Engine is located at the front of the hull with troop compartment at the rear. Drawbacks associated with Soviet 8x8 wheeler armored personnel carries were fixed. The Volat V2 is better protected than the BTR-80 and carries a much heavier armament. Furthermore its overall design is superior to that of the Russian BTR-82, which is a further evolution of the Soviet BTR-80. It seems that the front arc of the Volat V2 withstands hits from 12.7mm rounds and all-round protection is against 7.62mm armor-piercing bullets and artillery shell splinters. Vehicle has improved protection against landmines. It has a double floor. Crew and dismounts are seated on energy-absorbing seats. This armored vehicle reportedly survives blasts equivalent to 6 kilograms of TNT anywhere under the hull or under any wheel. There is an NBC protection system for the crew and dismounts. The prototype of the Volat V2 that was publicly revealed in 2021 was fitted with a modernized turret of the BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle. The BMP-2 turret was fitted with additional armor and new sights. This two-man turret with a 2A42 30mm automatic cannon, which is widely used on Soviet and Russian armored vehicles and attack helicopters. This gun has a dual feed system, so the gunner can switch between two types of ammunition. The gun is fully stabilizes and the vehicle can fire accurately on the move. There is a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Also there is a Conker's anti-tank guided missile launcher. It is possible that other armament variants will become available over time. In 2022 an improved version of the Volat V2 was observed. It used a Chinese unmanned 30mm turret. Regardless of the turret version this armored vehicle has a crew of three and accommodates eight fully equipped dismounts. Troops enter and leave the vehicle via the rear doors. Vehicle is powered by a Chinese Weichai WP13.480 AD diesel engine, developing 480 horsepower. With this engine vehicle has a maximum speed of 110 km per hour, improved version, that was revealed in 2022, was fitted with a more powerful WP13.550 engine with 550 horsepower can be fitted. With this engine vehicle can reach a maximum speed of 125 km per hour. Furthermore in this case vehicle has a growth potential as its weight can reach 24 t. This allows to improve armor protection. Engine is located at the front of the hull. It is mated to a manual six-speed transmission. Transmission was produced in Belarus by MZKT. Engine and transmission are built in one module and can be removed and replaced in field conditions. Vehicle has 8x8 configuration. Two front axles are steerable. The Volat V2 is fitted with a central tire inflation system and run-flat tires. Vehicle can limp back with a maximum speed of 20 km per hour when all of its tires are punctured or damaged. Also it has a built-in recovery winch with a 10T capacity. It can be used for self-recovery or recovery of other vehicles. 
There is a small diesel generator, which powers all vital electrical systems when the main engine is turned off. This allows the vehicle to remain in combat-ready state for prolonged periods of time with the main engine turned off. Furthermore the Volat V2 retains some of its combat capabilities when the main engine is damaged during combat. The Volat V2 is fully amphibious. On water it is propelled by two water jets. It can ford inland waterways, such as lakes and rivers. Furthermore this armored vehicle can self-deploy from amphibious assault ships and swim from ship to shore. There are two onboard automatic bilge pumps that activate automatically once the water is detected inside the vehicle. Planned up armored version of the Volat V2 with a combat weight of 24T. It will carry more armor, but will lack amphibious capabilities. 